All right, guys, I'm going to show you how you can triple process your RAW file to really expand that dynamic range in your image, especially when you get back and you look at your shots and think, wow, I wish I'd bracketed that sequence to get that detail in the shadows or the detail in the highlights. I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. Okay, so with your digital camera as a single RAW file, you have so much information in there that even the sliders in Lightroom or Camera Raw can't really give you all the information that it has, especially if you play with the exposure slider. So when you're doing a basically a single frame shot and you wanna open up your shadows, you can brighten up that image, but then everything else looks bad and you can try and pull highlights back but it just doesn't look great. Or you can underexpose the shot and then try and brighten it up a little bit with shadows, but then it just doesn't look great. But if you think of your, basically your image as a single file to target one particular area, and then you basically duplicate that and then use it to target another section, then duplicate that and use it to target another section, you can then blend those images together. Whether you wanna do it in Photoshop using the HDR merge, or anything like that, the good thing is, is that your single frame capture has a lot to give you. It's just your approach on how to squeeze all that information out of it. So we're gonna jump in now and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So these are the files that I've got here. This was actually done as an exposure bracket, but there are boats that move slightly in between each frames and it was really quite a pain. So what I did is I actually just basically selected all my base shots open them up into Photoshop. And these are, the, these are the images. So you're gonna hit Command A, Control S to select everything. And then you just come through and you just process it as you would as a base image. So you might just get your, everything sort of balanced the best you possibly can. You, you want your shadows to have detail, but it doesn't have to have crazy detail, you want the highlights to have detail, but it doesn't have to have all the detail that you need it to be. You just need a really good foundation that you can build your under and over exposed shots onto. So once you've done that, whether it's like, if this is a panoramic, obviously I would now just photo merge it. In Camera Raw, come in, merge panorama, because then it'll open up into Photoshop as a, into here, then I can open it as a smart object. But if you just got a single frame, you just hold down your shift key and click open object. So once you've opened it as a object in Photoshop, it'll come up with this funny little symbol. And that basically means it's a smart object. So I've just retitled this one base. So what you do now is you come in right click, new smart object via copy. Now, if you just duplicate the layer, when you reopen it up into camera raw and do your changes and then reopen it back into Photoshop, it'll actually apply those changes to both layers. So you really wanna make sure that you select via copy. So what we do is we double click now. Now with this image, we're gonna now look at it as it's gonna be a shot that's gonna target the shadows. So we add exposure to the image. Again, you don't wanna go crazy, you just want it to balance it out as if you'd actually did it as an exposure bracket. So then you can just sit here and you can play with your highlights Shadows, open up shadows a little bit more. Then once you're done, just click OK. Then once it's done, I just double click on this and I call it over, because that's my overexposed shot. Now I come in, right click on this again, new smart object via copy. And I'll call this one under. Double click, reopen it back up into camera raw. Grab my exposure slider. And basically now I'm looking for basically the highlights and just looking for the right amount of detail that I'm gonna get in there. I don't really wanna close them all the way down too much because you gotta remember that you're gonna be exposure blending this and you got if you've got way too much separation, it's gonna be hard to get that sort of transition. So you're gonna really be looking for your really kind of highlights that are really clipped and just sort of bring it to that point where they got detail. Again, you can open up shadows Play around with your highlights just to get it to the right sort of point. Again, you want to just get each photo as best you possibly can because you just want to blend these together. 
click OK. And there you have it. Like you've now got your base, your over, your under, exactly the way that you would have done it if you did a exposure bracket out in the scene. And the thing is though, is that because you've used the exact same RAW file, all your images are absolutely pixel perfect overlay. Where if I use this image as a bracketed sequence, you'll find that that Pelican actually isn't there in each individual frame. They've actually moved slightly. So when you're doing blending, they might be slightly ghosted or especially with the boats, the boats will slightly rock in between each frame. So when you go through and you blend it, whether you're blending a panoramic in Lightroom or you blend it in Photoshop, it's gonna try and make that alignment. And I've run this image through and, it's, and I get all these funny little ghosting and halos on the edge of the boats. The pelicans look like they got some sort of radioactive glow happening around them because they've slightly moved. And when it's come through and it's done its merge, it just doesn't look good. But when you actually use this process and you double or triple process your RAW file, you're gonna get amazing results. And this is the result that I got from blending these images together, luminosity masking and then going in. That's the final image that I got. So when you come in and you look through, does it 200% of 100%, really nice smooth grading. I've got no problems with the boats. Like my pelican, he looks good. There's no, there's no problems with him. And it's just a really nice, even exposure shot. And that's it guys, that's how easy it is to basically double and triple process your RAW file for extending your dynamic range in your shots. So guys, if you like tutorials like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.